hi guys welcome back to my channel so did this eye look i actually did makeup today are y'all we are confused um i did makeup today can you believe it look at my base my base looks so good like i've been trying new skincare everything looks good except for this one pimple but we're gonna ignore her she be in junk anyways i did this eye look so cute i really thought i lost my passion i lost my talent i thought i lost it because i ain't doing it in years but here we go slaying the game again we coming back with the next um i'm definitely going to be doing the 21 days of christmas well i want to that's the plan i gotta plan out some more stuff but you want to see how i got this look just keep on watching period okay so i'm literally gonna start off by doing my eyebrow oh my god i'm using the ColourPop brow pencil this is in black and brown i really do like this brow pencil well, y'all can see this brow is about to be thick but it's okay oh yeah next we're gonna obviously carve that out using the beige cosmetics concealer in 121 um i don't like this concealer as a face thing but it's good for carving out your brows so i already did this eye obviously so basically if you did one eye just connect the concealer line so that they are even and then you can start to shape it so now we're just gonna take a blending brush and blend away that concealer first we're gonna prime with the color pop no for the concealer in deep dark 52 love this concealer very affordable Co literally cost six dollars 650 i think so me personally i just took some from the back of my hand but i like it when the concealer is wet and i just tap it out with my brush I like using a flat foundation brush to do this. It cover more area faster. You want to drag that out a little. And the Morphe 35B palette. This palette been discontinued for like two years, I think. <laughs> but I don't have the James Charles palette. Um, I don't support him. But it, obviously it's like the same colors. It just got his name on there. I'm just taking this orange right here. Color pop. E9 brush is like a fluffy brush. Just take a bunch on my brush, like this much, and start putting it into my crease. So I tap in first, using tapping motions to first apply the shadow and get the most pigment, since this is a fall look. I feel like this, I was gonna do a homecoming look, but I feel like this i feel like this one could have been one but i feel like it's way too much it's too complicated for some people so i'm just putting it in my crease oh i actually should have used the color pop e1 i didn't realize i wasn't using it but it's more like a flat blending brush i meant to use the color pop e9 I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just wiping it off of my fingers on my hand. The color probably not the doing that. I'm just gonna take the yellow shade right here. Honestly, I like Morphe eyeshadows. It's just ain't no dress, but I like them. They are right. I just hit pan, y'all. I literally just hit pan on the yellow. Look, y'all see that? Y'all see that tiny pan? Uh oh. Anyway, so we're just gonna take some of that and just lightly blend it over top of. See now, it's not right because I didn't use the right brush. But we're going to blend that over top of the orange to soften it. So I'm going to go back in with that orange shade. Just a little. I'm going to take this LA Color Smoky Palette. Just as like a little base for base brown. And I'm just take the brown shade in here. And just start tapping it on my outer part, my outer corner. Ellie girl got some Ellie colors. I mean, has some really good eyeshadows. You can see I hit pan on this one. 
So I'm just gonna blend that into the crease also. You can see. Just to have that line there for when I actually cut the crease. So I'm just gonna take the ColourPop E9, the one that I used for the yellow, and go back in with the orange over top of the um the brown. Okay, now we're gonna cut the crease. We're gonna cut. We're not even just cutting the crease. Cut. We cutting the whole shapes. What I like to do is take the same concealer, the ColourPop, um, no filter concealer, put some on the back of my hand. And then I like to take the same brush I use for my eyebrow, put my put, put it into the concealer, and then now I, I'm using this technique where I, instead of starting from the inner corner of my eye, I start from the middle and cut like that and go towards the inner corner instead of into the instead of from the inner corner out, I go from outer outwards inwards instead of inwards to outwards. So I take this brush, right, straight like that. You see we made a first line, there we go. As long as you do this first line and get the out, the, that's the outline of your crease, of your cut crease. That's when you start filling it in with the concealer. You can do whatever works for you, but this works for me. Specifically, P. Louise, they make their brushes super flat when they do their cut creases. I actually do think that helps. But this brush is already super flat, so. And you won't wing it out. So, obviously, add more concealer if you need some more. I need more from the bottom. So, using the pencil brush. Y'all, my hand looks so bad. Like... <laughs> Using the pencil brush, I'm going to just take some more of that orange and just just tap some off of my hand again. And just tap it outward so it elongates my eye. So for the outer part of the wing, I took this shade Midnight from the BH Cosmetics. It's my Ruby palette. I'm so sorry guys, this palette is also discontinued. What the heck? Y'all probably like, how am I supposed to follow this if it's all discontinued? Listen, it's just a brown. Let me swatch it for y'all. Just on like a muddy brown. We're going to use the other side of the ColourPop E1. E, yeah, E1. Where we use the other brown. And go over the wing part. Oop, like that. And tap it more inwards. So, I love my favorite eyeshadow. Drugstore eyeshadow. Um... formula is BH Cosmetics. You, you see that red side? We're going to take the shade Sunset from the same BH Cosmetics palette. I'm so sorry this is discontinued. It's a very good palette. BH Cosmetics have very good eyeshadows and highlighters. So, so we're just going to stamp that right over top of the brown midnight. Just to create a blend. And start blending it inwards. And now for a shimmer shade, we're gonna take the shade Fairy Tale on the same palette. Listen, guys, all these shades are very easy, very good fall shades. You can find it in any brown palette. So yeah, I'm gonna take that shade on my brush, on my flat brush, and spray the brush. I'm spraying it with Mario Badescu. So I'm just gonna tap it on there. So we need to blend it with the red. So what we're gonna do is start lightly tapping it over the red. Which y'all all been waiting for to make it really pop. So this is the ColourPop Sweet pa Sweet Talk palette. I love this palette. It has some nice shades. I love the packaging also it looks really good. So we're gonna take this yellow gold glitter called Early Morning. Very good. And we're just gonna flip the brush over. Pick some up. Pat it on there. Obviously, we're not picking up a lot. We're just picking up enough. You can see this eye is definitely more defined. So, just to define the brown, I'm going to take the Elf eyeliner brush. It's just like a flat bristle brush like this. 
We're gonna take that same round from the Beige Cosmetics pack, but don't go too deep. So you wanna get some and wipe it off on your hand. And just start stemming. I'm gonna do eyeliner. For eyeliner, I use the make the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner. This is like a sample, but just to always make sure you draw on your eyeliner on your hand just to get the tip wet. And I'm just going to do this, so I'm going to speed this part up because we're just going to do a tiny wing. Hopefully you're even. So now we're going to clean that up with the same concealer brush from earlier. And now for lashes, I'm going to be using the Baddie Lashes from Hot Girl Cosmetics. If you don't know, this is my line. This is my lash line. I created it. You can buy them on Depop. I ship them out for you. Um, yeah. Very cute. These make you a baddie. And that's on period. Anyways. I'm sorry if that sound like I was talking loud. I'm listening to some music. But anyways, we need to do the lower lash line. So, we need to prime using the same concealer. Just taking a little bit. Blending that under there. The same pencil brush from earlier. Just obviously wipe it off of my hand. Because, why not? Taking the orange. And literally just press it into your freaking under eye. A perfect fall look, y'all. Don't come, don't try to drag me because I haven't been doing makeup in like the last time I did a makeup tutorial, like colorful, was months ago. And then I like to drag it underneath the wink. So like this. Just to farther open up my eye. There we go. But I'll be back for the outro. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry it took me like 200 years to do another eye shadow tutorial. I just haven't been feeling like I haven't been feeling like myself. I haven't been feeling like how I felt two summers ago. It's just different. I got responsibilities. I gotta get a job. I mean, I got a job. I gotta work. I gotta put food on the table. You know, I gotta eat. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys really did enjoy this tutorial. Don't drag me if I did something wrong. If it's, if you feel like it could have been blended more, just blend yours out more. Um, I feel like mine's look okay. Obviously, like always, my eyes are two different shapes. My eyebrows are uneven. But the eyeshadow overall looks very good. And I like the combination I did with the shimmer and glitter. Period. If y'all brave enough to wear this to homecoming, y'all do that. I mean, I don't even know. Me personally, I feel like I'm going to just throw a brown in my crease and throw some lashes on. Do the full face. Go. But yeah, um... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. Just like it. Follow me on everything. It'll be linked down below. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Happy fall.